There is only one road in to the Dampier Peninsula north of Broome, and that's helping shield these local Indigenous communities from coronavirus. Hey folks, how you going? Stay back, stay back, social distancing mate. Three weeks ago, the federal government made it illegal to access Aboriginal communities except for essential services and supplies. But many had already erected roadblocks. We prepared our community well in advance before you know there was any cases in the Kimberleys because we thought that the, the primary thing was to, to respond as quickly as possible. Albert Wiggins says word of the pandemic travelled fast, even to outstations without phone nor internet. In Spain sort of recorded over 800 deaths in one night. That's practically everyone on the Dampier Peninsula. You know, that, that's three major communities up here on the peninsula that have just basically died in one night. And so it just goes to home how vulnerable we are. But there are positives too, with families spending more time out bush and hunting and fishing to bolster supplies. It's much more family orientated this right now and we love it. We just love this because we can see the beauty of what the importance of family is and we have to bring a disease to, to actually bring it together. But there's frustration at some locals sneaking back to Broome to buy alcohol. Chairman of the Jadajan community, Brian Lee, says they're putting everyone at risk. Well, we have written to state and, and Commonwealth governments to ask for assistance by the army to be based um, just south of Beagle Bay so they can um, stop uh, people going out and people coming in. There's a real feeling of dread about what could happen if COVID-19 does spread to these communities because there's a lot of overcrowding in the homes so the virus could spread very quickly. There are high rates of chronic disease that could lead to higher than usual mortality rates and there's also very limited health services available. So that's all led to a determination not just to manage the spread of coronavirus but to keep it out altogether. Hi, I'm Kathleen from Goombaragan Eco Retreat. And I'm John from Goombaragan. Even those who've lost their income support the closures. John McLennan and Kathleen Cox run a tourism business north of Beagle Bay. Normally at Easter they'd be fully booked. This year it's just the two of them and their distinctive water feature. We've still got our little roles and responsibility. Like, you know, if John wants to have a bit of time out, he'll go and do some um, work on some of his projects, whether it be veggie garden. Or I just kind of sneak away with my bucket, fishing line, knife and bait and go down for a bit of a swim and a fish and come back with some fish for lunch. So I guess it's good to have that flexibility. Those accustomed to bush life are looking well placed to cope with the long months of isolation ahead. Erin Park, ABC News, Broome.